Hey guys, John here. Today's patch is in GMS, and this one is called Organ of Sorrow, and the whole concept behind this one is to kind of recreate an old organ type of sound. Maybe it wasn't really well maintained, and it's kind of just beaten up a little bit. The lows are kind of not really there, or the highs. So that's kind of the concept behind this patch, and yeah, this is what it sounds like. Okay, wipe away those tears and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's dive into this thing. So just by itself, it would sound something kind of like this. So it does have that motion there as well. And it's kind of dirty, kind of old, and yeah, anyway, so let's go through these steps and see how it was created. So we're going to be using three oscillators for this one. The first one is funky, which is anything but whatever, though. So down 12 semitones, so one octave. Then we're going to be using a saw and then a saw retro, and these other ones are going to be 0, zero for the pitch and the fine. The second oscillator is 0.36% in the mix, and then number three is 0.43 in the mix, and we're also going to be using some noise because it's very helpful for this one at 0.23. Now we are also going to be using the sync one over here, and this is going to be all the way to the right to get that kind of tonality to it. So if we didn't have that, so it definitely kind of helps bring that sound alive. So moving on from there, for our filter, we're going to be using a low pass here, and the cutoff is going to be at 0.86%, and then the resonance at 0.14. We can skip over the envelope as the amount knob is, or the amount slider is all the way down. Same with the second one as well. So we can skip over this section. However, in the LFO, we are going to be using this and the rate is going to be at three over eight. It's going to be synced to the beat and it's going to be set to the filter for the destination and it's going to be a triangle wave. And then this amount here is going to be 0.16. So what that's actually doing, let's exaggerate this here. Kind of gives it like kind of sound in the background right there. So here's with it off and exaggerated. Which you could totally keep it at that value all the way to the top, but I kind of chose with 0.16 because it felt like a good medium with that. It's there, but it's not overly present. If you're kind of looking for it, you'll find it, but it's not like the main part of the sound. So moving on for the attack is going to be 0 0.12, 0 0.11 around there. Decay all the way at one, sustain all the way at one, and then the release is at 0.46. The output for this one is going to be plus 6.2 because you kind of lose some, some sound with this one. So you're going to kind of have to boost the output just a little bit there. We can skip over the frequency slide and the pitch and pan here. Also, last other thing to mention before we move on to the effects, the voices is going to be at 16, stereo, the detuned 0.41%, and then the keyboard is going to be down one octave right over here. So moving on from there, we're really only going to be using one effect here, and it is going to be the pan one slash four. Make sure to hit glue right here. And both of these are going to be in the center. So straight up and down at noon for the param X and param Y. Now, this is going to be at one over four here, the amount 0.65. So it defaults at 0.5. So we're boosting that by 15. And this is going to be synced to the beat and it's going to be a triangle wave for the shape. And that's pretty much it for this one. <laughs> However, we do have some external effects that we should cover here. So the main thing, we are sending this to Valhalla Reverb, which is a very kind of standard thing I do I like to send use the reverb outside of the synth, which I think generally sounds better. And then also I have an EQ on here. So I'm kind of cutting off the lows and then also the highs and I'm kind of bringing down some of this annoyingly honky kind of sound, like really just piercing kind of in your ear because it's easy to get carried away with the sound. So this is what I'm talking about here. Like if we had a high note like this. Like that stuff, we kind of want to tuck down a little bit here. And then over here around 360, and this is an area I generally don't really push, but for this patch, it's kind of the the warmth, the heart, the, the soul, the spice of this sound. 
kind of the guts right there. So just a little bump around like between three and 400, somewhere around there. We'll kind of make it sound a little bit warmer and not as pokey and thin and, and also a little less fake. So yeah, so keep that in mind. So with that being said, if you would like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below. Although keep in mind for these future GMS patches, I'm not gonna be saving them directly from this interface. They're gonna be saved from this drop down menu and I'm gonna be saving them here. That way you can open them on the presets window here so you don't really have to dabble into this menu as much because I think this system for for me at least is a little bit better if you want to save it uh, or load it up like that and then save it in here it's totally up to you but just thought I'd mention that just in case you were wondering so with that being said let's play us out with organ of sorrow and this isn't my largest organ I apologize this is all I have to give <laughs> Every day is a gift.